You know, it's looking a little bit dark here on my little set at home. Might be time to lighten things up a little bit. I made a video about this over on my second channel, but I managed to pick up the NES Classic Edition. They had a bundle over at GameStop, and my wife and I are probably going to be doing a video about this together here on this channel. Let me know, leave a thumbs up if you'd like to see that video, and subscribe to be notified when it does become available. But the bundle I ended up buying over at GameStop to get my hands on the NES Classic actually came with this little bit of geek paraphernalia that I'm kind of surprised that I didn't actually already own. So today we're going to be taking a quick look at this, a little bit outside my normal wheelhouse, but it's a Super Mario Brothers Question Block Light from ThinkGeek. And really this is just sort of a step in a geeky direction. It's not a tech product, it's just going to be fun. So inside of the box, package contents and installation instructions. Of course you get the light and a micro USB cable, battery installation information. By the way, this lamp can be powered either over micro USB or using batteries. We'll come back to that. Here it is. And of course a micro USB cable. Not super long, not super fancy. It's micro USB, gets the job done. And there is the lamp. It's plastic, it sounds like it's hollow. There's not a whole lot to it, but this is definitely something for the geek in your life. Here on the bottom of the back, you can see it has sound on, sound off, and micro USB charging port here. On the bottom, there's a tiny Phillips head screw here where you can put in some batteries. It says it takes three AA batteries. I'm not gonna be doing that because I'm gonna just keep it plugged in all the time. And without any further ado, I probably ought to go ahead and plug this in. Now the one sort of downside to this, it does not come with an actual wall wart or anything, so you're gonna have to have either a hub, some sort of a wall plug, or a computer to plug it into that's gonna be on all the time. But other than that. I'm geeking out so far. And actually, because I did forget to mention it earlier, it does say here, you may have been able to see it before, micro USB input 5 volt at 500 milliamps. So make sure whatever source you're going to plug into it is smart enough to know not to send more than that. It might blow it out or something. And so now I guess it's time to turn it on. There you go. It's actually got a sound effect. You can turn it on and off. Yes. That's, that's excellent. And when it's sitting on the table, you're supposed to just bop it on the top, just like you're hitting a question mark block inside of a Mario game. That's awesome. I'll get some cooler shots in the dark of this so you can sort of see what it looks like. It's not throwing out a huge amount of light. I mean, if I go ahead and just turn off the lights that I've got in here, you can kind of see it lighting up here in the dark. It's not gonna overpower me. It's not lighting me up at all. It's got a little bit of an ambient yellow glow to it. But just in terms of having something kind of cool that you can have in the background of your videos or having something cool to have on a shelf or for that geek in your life that you're just not really sure what to buy something for, if they're into Nintendo or Mario or anything, this might be a great fit for them. And that's gonna wrap this video up for today, actually. Be on the lookout, this thing will probably show up in the background of my videos if I ever move my setup around to where I properly have things in the background. Yoda's hanging out over there in the corner. Maybe after the holidays this will end up over there. But if I had not mentioned it already, this can be found over on ThinkGeek's website as well as GameStop if it's available there. It's about $35. For a lamp, that's a little bit pricey. For a lamp that doesn't actually put off much light. But for the nostalgia value, if that's something that you or your family member, your loved one, whoever is the geek in your life, if they're into that, 35 bucks is not a bad price to pay for it. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Maybe if you want to see the NES Classic video with my wife, subscribe to the channel to get notified when any of those videos or anything else I make on here comes out, and I will see you again next time.